But at this junction, that ambitious bit came to a halt in a sport where tenths and hundreds of seconds separate winners and losers. His efforts had burnt his brakes, but they hadn't smoked the opposition. Thankfully, the burning was only superficial. Oh, but things have got even worse for the New Zealander now. You can see the crew are safely out of the car, but that I-20 is on fire. Wait, Tanek is the next car through, and unbelievably, the Estonians join Patton off the road. Both sets of drivers are safe, but in shock. They must be concerned that Tanak's Fiesta will be consumed in the inferno. Tanak, meanwhile, now frantically trying to rescue his car from the flames. With the help of spectators, the Fiesta is at least tugged away from the worst of the fire. And an unusual game of cat and mouse developed, and it went on for 40 kilometers. Sending up just a little puff of dust. And three that plus into right. And meet reluctant to distract Ireland's finest, who was now higher up the leaderboard than him. This is one coming up, and Latvala hits it head on at speed. And suddenly is completely out of shape, and over he goes. This compression right there. Out comes the damper. Inside they grimace. They know what's going on. That is the rally over. Luckily, the protection in the car is good. Out they get to walk away, but there's no way back from there. Oh, and look at this. Wandering cattle is something we've seen before in Mexico. Ogier losing a bit of time as he picked his way through the cows. Watch the most spectacular moments from every rally. Get WRC Plus with all rally highlights now.